previously. Uh, I can't do a boss battle right now. This is all going wrong. And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Internet, and welcome back to Holy Potatoes! We're in space! As you can see, I still don't have my voice back. Um, the last time you guys saw me play this, a lot of shit was happening, a lot of shit went wrong. And I was very salty. So I went back and replayed this whole galaxy. And, um, we're back where I was, except now the, uh, people chasing us didn't catch up. I've got some awesome weapons. Currently got some people in training over here. Uh, but I've got some great weapons. I got these level four things, and they're, like, S-ranked. And it's awesome. And I still have the robbing hood, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I have her working on a new robbing hood. Or, yeah. Hopefully, uh, it'll give me an S rank. Get out of my food. Little brat. I'm giving you food. Go away. Don't, little girl. Get. Shoot. Down. I swear to God, these cats are going to be the death of me. Um. I still have the trading facility. I've got uh, research going on right now uh, to repair stuff. And yeah. So let's just get back to it. <coughs> How many souls do I have left? You know, I might as well use these souls to warp to the next, before I warp to the next galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's rank. Hail to the air. Let us get that on there right now. And the old one was a, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want. And no weapon parts available. I sold them all. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to the weapon I just made. Um, let's get to the next uh, soul. <laughs> My research should be done in a minute. <coughs> Skip again. It's my last soul. <coughs> but everything is done. So now I can reassign everybody. Honestly, I can probably yeah, put you here, put you back here. I can have you train again. And I can't do anything here right now, but that's all right. All right. <laughs> Let's get to the next area. Yep. You can't just give the soy burgers a go. It's really good. The tastes are just tastes are just like the real deal. Tastes just like the real deal. Okay. Like the real deal, she says. Tastes nothing like real hamburgers. Real hamburgers drip with juice. Those fake burgers taste like. Don't insult my healthy soy burgers. Your burgers are gonna make you rot in the inside for a few year in a few years. You bet your sweet double chin on that. Live fast, die young, as they say. Who stuck this on the ship? We know where Jiraga is. What? How? Sounds like a scam. I don't know. It just has to go to these coordinates. Let's go. Even if this isn't real, they must at least know something. Fair enough. Don't jinx it. It'll be fine. We just need to go take a look. What could go wrong? Yep, okay. If it wasn't already jinxed before, you just jinxed it. Fill your faces. <coughs> 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 As he learned a new skill, doing a barrel roll. And Rabble Rouse are leveled up. That's awesome. <coughs> Intangible, intelligible roller cry? And of course, Faye learned some new skills. You know, I might use Faye. Hold up. Uh, pilot. This is all enemy weapon attack by 30% for a turn. Okay. Uh, 
You know what? I think we're gonna use Faye for a while. It's mochi. What? I can use mochi as a pilot? <coughs> Alright. So now, uh, Faye is my pilot. You're still doing that. Alright. Uh, so still check it out. Okay. All right, let's travel. <coughs> Objective, ooh, rainbow planet. And it's got plasma. <coughs> Welcome to Gurren. All right. Are we there yet? If you ask me that one more time, I will. But I'm just so anxious. Who are these edibles? What if they try to rob us? A famous fool once said, what's the worst that could happen? Wait, 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 wait. Is that it? The ship? It looks familiar. Isn't that? Who the fuck? Yeah, ha, ha, ha. You fell for it. Give yourselves up quietly. No harm will come to you. That's supposed to be Starsky and Hutch. Starsky and Hutch. Not to be... You two brotherly bird brains. We don't have time for this. We just did ask you a few questions. All you two need to do is come and chat with us for a while. We'll let you go after that. I've never watched Starsky and Hutch. No, especially not how creepily you said that. Yeah, as if we believe you after you kidnapped our grandpa. It's for his own good. But he, forget it. Well, Hash, well, won't say we mash them around. Jiraga won't be mad at us, would he? He won't be here to get mad about it anyway. Heh, <laughs> perfect. We'll take you down and then take you up for questioning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to go, bro? All hands on deck. Upcoming boss battle. <coughs> Works for me. <coughs> Let's do this shit. In a fair fight, you sneaky spud faces. Let's do this now, fair and square. Ha, huh, fighting was harder than expected, but taking you down should be just as easy as last time. I should really learn which way to do this. All right. Single target, it's all. So we need to take this out first. Uh, re revives one randomly destroyed weapon 20%. Okay. So all of these, okay. So start with you. <coughs> Weather is clear. That's nice. Still all of your starch. Nice. You can take care of this guy, right? <coughs> Very nice. Destroyed a weapon. Patch that up, Starchy. I'll cover for you. Hey, no repairing weapons. That's cheating. Faye, let's get him. I ain't done goofs to throw over. I'd supercharge. What the fuck are you doing to me? You have a lot of stuff. <coughs> Got your back, bro. Fuck off. Ooh, got 
11,000 starch for that. Uh, also, since I got so much starch. Unassigned you. Here. <coughs> you start with a new skill. Complete objective. Ha! Got you! If you're gonna come begging for a fight, you're gonna need more than that. Time to bring them in. We can finally go, Gigi. Where are the towering cables, Faye? We just reel them in. Hey, think you have the upper hand? They kind of do start she Our ship's pretty done for. Shh, don't tell them that. Um, you're not gonna get us. Really? What are you gonna do? You know this while we reel your ship in? Initiating escape sequence. What? <laughs> Quickly, reel them in now. It's a clinch line, but I'm gonna say it. We'll be back. <laughs> get back here, cowards. They warped away. We lost them. We almost got them. We could have smacked Gigi's location out of them. They'll be back. We can get them. We almost took them down this time. We'll get them too next time we see them. Yeah, man. All that fighting really got me wanting a soy burger. I don't think anything in this universe could ever make you want a soy burger. Here we go again. <laughs> That's it? Okay. I guess we're just going to explore this galaxy then. I've got... Plasma here. It's out of range. A turtle planet up there. Alright, let's get back here. <coughs> <coughs> I got a new weapon part, I think. Cool. Didn't I get a new weapon part? Moose Fane Emitter. Interesting. Ugh. Attacks all targets, but it's blocked by shields with 20% chance to weaken and blind. Mm. I think I'm gonna use that. What is that? 15 and 29? I can't. I don't have the ore. Okay. What can I sell? Nope. <coughs> Trusty Ionic Buster. You're an A for like, you kind of suck. Deal 500% damage to shields. Ow. But you still kind of suck compared to my other weapons. Like, yeah. Well, maybe not this. I'm gonna sell it. Man, I really don't care for this. <coughs> I can have that. I don't want it. Kind of want to keep that. I don't want to get rid of my S rank P shooter. Just in case one breaks. I think, oof. Uh, ooh, railgun repairs. Missile crafting. Railgun defense. Ooh. <coughs> I don't want to get you. <coughs> Alright. 
about this? Should we sell anything? I don't know why we would. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take you to here as well. Tin ore. This one, right? No. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can definitely buy tin ore. <coughs> I want to try out this blue data emitter. Travel. What are you? Okay. What are you? <coughs> Ooh. What does this mean? Cool. Go. <sighs> All right. What the fuck? <coughs> it's a beat. Ninety four to one hundred twenty eight versus uh, better it attacks all targets, but its energy is also five. Ugh. I'm gonna say no thanks to that. Uh, you only have a soul left for that. You have two souls left. Currently, you only have one person manning the guns, but. I can also put you here. <coughs> Actually, skip one soul so he'll be done. Awesome. I can put you here for now. I can put him back here. <coughs> you have a soul left, which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Thank you. Alright, explore this place. I <coughs> know, <coughs> <coughs> oh it's an eclipse blockade. How are we gonna get past that? We can try to find a way around. There doesn't seem to be too many guards around. Or we can pay a guard to let us, uh, keep to let us through, maybe he'll accept resources. Fuck that. Cassie and Faith sneak around the blockade and attempt to find a way around. They managed to find an unguarded spot and successfully sneak past the equipped soldiers and fly away. What a pair bright. That. <coughs> Stop fiddling with that. You're going to drop it. It'll be fine, Faye. You worry too. Whoops! The figurine that Cassie was idly toying with flies out of her hands and lands in a nearby fountain with a splash. Faye sighs, rolls her eyes, and gives her sister a told you to look. As Cassie boards the loss of her slightly battered, albeit limited edition pirate sun figurine, a beautiful fountain spirit rises out of the fountain holding three figurines. Are you the one who's so abruptly disrupted my slumber? Now which one of these did you drop in your server? Do? The gold, the silver, or this uh, slightly battered one? <coughs> <sighs> the fountain spirit smiles. You have proven yourself in the face of temptation. Young Spud, well done. The fountain spirit starts to hit the figure to Cassie, but the figurine sleeps out of her hands and lands on the ground below. Crack and breaks into multiple pieces. Oh, uh, let's see what I can do to make up for that. While Cassie wants to get more to loss of her precious figurine, the Fountain Spirit presents her with the new weapon blueprint as an apology for breaking it. Flashbang level three. <coughs> oh, my poor figurines. Wow. Well, she is wandering around the planet while her owners are out. She's looking for a present to bring back for them. Upon hearing the sound of birds chirping, Mochi climbs a tree to take a look. She sees a small bird perched on a tree branch. There's a bird nest beside a small bird from which there's a sound of chirping and the glint of something shiny. <coughs> investigate the nest. Mochi goes to investigate the bird nest. 
A small bird eyeing her uneasily, peering into the nest, or several even smaller baby birds in the nest, along with a few shiny objects. When she nests at one of the shiny objects, she grabs one of the shiny objects in her mouth and runs off before the small bird starts attacking her for poking around in its nest. When she runs back to her owners, it gives them a new present. Starch plus 10. Aww. The kitty brought back 10 10 dollars. Forgotten. Hmm? Cassie spots a sheet of paper lying forgotten on the floor of the hub. I notice my others, her fingers itch to pick it up and see what it is. Pick it up, duh. Cassie dives for the paper and enthusiastically opens to see what it is. Oh, it's just a blueprint. Must be that damn cat stealing stuff again. I guess I'll bring it back to the workshop. Boom barrage level three. Cool. <laughs> Are there more? <laughs> what? Oh, this again. Ah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another eclipse blockade. Block Ooh. I didn't even read that one. <coughs> cool. Exploration complete. I didn't even see it a single person. Yeah, 15 ore though. Alright. Trading is ready. Ship. That means you can leave here and she can go back. Awesome. Hmm. Go ahead and build this. <coughs> Aw. Dang. Low on bio waste. Okay, well, uh, do I explore here again? I think I do. <coughs> Hi, I'm a black belt in Karo tea. Hiya. That's so terrible. <coughs> Alright, I got the bat and a viscerator. Multi hit and single target. Uh, of course. This is attack of all weapons by 20%. Alright. Uh, you, and you. <sighs> yes, please. Bye-bye. Yay. Still a tempest. Super mushrooms. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't eat that. Faye enters the bridge and errors her eyes as she watches Cassie salivate over a brilliantly colored mushroom with green and white polka dot cap. Why? But how could something so pretty be so cruel? It obviously tastes delicious. The bright colors sing to me. Faye, it's singing. Eat me. Ha ha ha. Can you imagine it, Faye? Mushroom singing? That'll be the day. Faye, alarmed by her sister's behavior, looks around the room and notices a lot of leftover mushroom stalks left over. Uh, littered all over the floor of the bridge. Where did you find all of these? And for spud's sakes, how many have you eaten? I don't know. Someone was here to fix the plumbing earlier and, like, just left a bag of these around. I don't know about eight, but this one? This one's special. It's so pretty. Faye closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. <coughs> you ready? <laughs> Cassie tries to say through her fits of laughter and chuckling as she dangles the mushroom over her mouth. Okay, one second. Perfect. Do it. Faye finds it extremely difficult to stifle her own laughter. Cassie pops it like candy in her mouth. She's furiously before swallowing. Faye looks intently at her sister through the viewfinder waiting for something to happen. Well, that was it, I Quebec. Famous last words. Before Cassie finishes se sentence, a tidal wave of vomit comes splooshing out of her mouth. Ugh. Splattering Faye in the video camera. Every single bit of green goopiness sticks itself onto Faye. Cassie stands there in shock as she watches Faye grab wipe the goop off her mouth. Looking at each other at all without missing a beat, they both break out laughing. Oh man, this is going on spud tube for sure. Embarrassing evidence plus one. Cool. Cassie and Faye encounter ship A flying towards them. It is blindedly bright side color with three weapons attached to it. Uh, Faye, what's with the floating alphabets? Huh, what? The one's floating above our heads describing what we're seeing right now, or is that just me? Please don't tell me that's just me. Ship A heaves to a stop in front of the Spud Buddy. It charges up one of its weapons and fires it straight at the Spud Buddy, but it misses. Oh, what? Why is it shooting at us? Cassie, what did you do? Oh, I 
see now. Everything goes south because of me. Statistically, let's fix this. Shoot at the weapon. Cassie fires a shot at one of the weapons of the ship and the ship weapon catches fire and explodes. Yeah, take that. Ship A and S it's a escape sequence shivering briefly but will be out in front of their eyes. Okay. Another blockade. Cassie, when Cassie gets to the local police office, there's another edible asking for about his lost wallet. When he finds out that Cassie has got his wallet, he's so grateful he rewards Cassie with a huge amount of starch. Good deeds are rewarded. Yay. Stop the ship. Cassie hits the brakes right before the spud bunny hits a table. It's a table. Do, I, do it out in the middle of nowhere. Hoppy got to investigate. Cassie and Faye find three things atop the table. Pie and I don't drink in a box. Open the box. Treasure! Cassie rips up in the box and brings the spoils out of the ship. Starch plus 826. Hell yeah. Cool. <laughs> awesome sauce. Okay. Uh. That means I can upgrade you again. <sighs> Fantastic. Do I want to just keep going here? I don't see why not. Lots of stuff is happening on this planet. Sorry, guys. Strange chest. While roaming the skies above Shinoa, the ship's onboard metal detection system picks up the signs of a strange looking chest covered in moss. Oh, a chest! A chest! Let's grab it, Faye. Sure. Cassie rushes to open the chest as soon as it's brought on board. Here it goes. It's nothing. Whoa. Woohoo! Money, 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 money. Look at all this starch. Ooh. Lots of starch. <laughs> potato dog? A group of children huddled together, taking turns to yank on the tail of a whimpering potato dog. Hey, we can't just sit by and let them abuse the poor dog. We have to do something. If I do the fog horn, it might scare the dog too. They switch us on the headlights, training a bright circle of light on the group of mischievous kids. The children let go of the dog and run off screaming. It runs up to Faye, grateful for their Cassie and Faye, grateful for their help. It's trying to give us something, a blueprint. Now, where would a potato dog get something like that? Ooh. See if we're from part of the Robin Hood level three. Oh yeah. <coughs> Which is a mochi too. Mochi is wandering around the planet while her owners are out. She's looking to bring a present home. Mochi is exploring a space station. She comes across a small marketplace with a food stall, a jewelry stall, and a weapon parts stall. A delicious smell wafts over from the food stall. Shiny things glint over at the jewelry stall. Thinking that the metal be sound for the parts stall. Ooh. Uh... Mochi slides over to the weapon parts stall, peering at herself in the shiny surfaces. While the stall owner is look looking, Mochi looks right back at him and knocks a piece off the table. She snaps another piece as she escapes from the fury of the stall owner and runs back to her owners. Nano fibers plus two. <coughs> Good job, Mochi. <coughs> What's that thing doing there? They spots an open crate sitting next to the spud bunny. Upon closer inspection, it has no label on it. And no other useful information can be found from it. The greatest full of resources that they can use. Fighters keepers. Since there's no owner, anyone can claim it. Frey drags it back to the spider bunny and adds it to their stock. Plasma plus 30. <laughs> Write your name on stuff. Help, there's a bomb in our ship. The spider bunny hears another ship's distress call over the radio. Is anyone there? Help, we don't know which wire to cut. Blue wire. Always the blue wire. Fortune to start us something new. Cassie and Faye see a fortune teller shop and decide to enter on a whim. The fortune teller takes one look at them and bows to them deeply. It is an honor to have great heroes grace my ship. What may I do for you, Captain Cassie and Lady Faye? Cassie and Faye look at each other, incredulous and a little creeped out. Oh, just here to have our fortunes told. 
Ah, it's a difficult task you have asked of me. Both your fortunes are intertwined and shrouded in uncertainty. I shall do what I can. The fortune teller waves her hand over her crystal ball and starts muttering words in a strange language under her breath. Cassie fidgets uncertainly, her face starts regretting her decision to enter the shop because of the spell. Both of you will face great danger and revelations in the future. However, if you're able to overcome these trials, you will rise to become great heroes. The fortune teller pulls out a feather and a carved wooden statue of a cat. This feather could bring you good fortune and help with your journey if used properly. Or if you prefer adventure and danger, the statue could give you that. You could only choose one. <laughs> uh... Looks like Mochi. The fortune teller hands the statue over to Cassie, who looks at it curiously. Fate shall lead you to your adventure. Now be off on your journey. Cassie and Faye are chased out of the shop with the statuette in hand. Faye is sure that this is all just a scam, but Cassie decides to keep the statuette displayed on the dashboard. Cat statue plus one. It looks like Mochi. Got another Robin Hood part. <coughs> Back to the ship. Can I do anything here? No, I cannot. Can I do anything here? No, I cannot. Uh, let's travel. Back here. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, I have to put my legs. On. You're not gonna like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three souls left. I hear ya. Alright, so you still got stuff left to do. Uh, hub. Can I sell or upgrade anything? What do I need to make this weapon? Uh, flashbang level 3, 15, and 31. But I can sell the rest. So, 10 of these, uh, 20 of those, 20 of those, 50 of those. <coughs> Need to buy 10 of these. Okay, back to the hub. stuff I can do. <coughs> Ooh. Go there. Four souls left for that. You only have one soul, right? Yeah. <coughs> Skip a soul. You go here. One soul for that. Go ahead and upgrade you guys. But I'm about to enter new territory. I really don't want to unassign you for that. Go ahead and skip one more soul. Got one soul left. Uh, let's sell my weapon that I made. Ugh. Sell that awful thing. And sell that thing. Don't want that either. What is this? Boom barrage. And the bat. Go ahead and keep the lock. Okay. Boom barrage. Wait, the bat is a laser? I did not know that. Go ahead and keep both of those. Just in case. <coughs> up here you do laser crafting you leaving i love you have a good day be safe what yeah 
Okay. <coughs> Wish I could find one for scientists. You know what? Let's actually upgrade my. Oh, not you. <coughs> I'm gonna upgrade my bridge. Ooh, multi-therapy facility. They have a problem with storage. Hmm. What are you doing? You're upgrading your stuff, right? Not yet, but you will be. Uh. Let's do that. Just see what happens. <coughs> I guess I could sell a bunch of stuff and then see if I could buy another upgrade. Nope. Nope. Just sell everything. any bio waste. Can <coughs> 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 hmm. I upgrade my hull? Can I sell another weapon part? I really want to, but I will. <coughs> All right. I still don't have enough for that. I need over a thousand more. Do I have enough for therapy facility? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. I don't plan to use it very much, but we'll upgrade it. All right. What do we got going on here? <coughs> You're upgrading that. Everybody's good there. We got good there. All right. Great place to end this. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. And that's setting out. Bye.